Everybody has a right to resources. Everyone. But if you hunt them, if you look for them, you lose yourself. You lose yourself. One of the most exciting things, I know that, that Ilsa had a, a lecture earlier on BG5. One of the most fantastic things about business training is our ability to be able to look at individuals, look at their designs, and to be able to see how they operate in different kinds of auric combinations. Most businesses operate through trans-auric formulas, that is, operate through the penta or operate through the wa. These are deep, deep, deep conditioning programs. And not everybody is meant to be in them. Not everybody operates correctly within them. Most human beings have no idea where the money tree is. They can't find it in themselves. They're always looking somewhere else, and it's in them. You know, there's this beautiful line. I, I, think, it's, I think it's in the 46. You know, it's art for art's sake. You do things for the love of them. I used to tell people this all the time, and I got so tired of them saying to me, yeah, but, you know? It's nicer in German, ABBA. You know, it's like bad music. Yeah, but, you know? There is no yeah, but. There isn't. You see, if you don't make a stand, nothing happens. If you don't surrender, you never surrender. If you, don't, if you don't try, it's never going to happen. You see, this is all about loving yourself, trusting in you. You know, I'm having this great experience with variable, doing the variable workshops in the morning. And you get to look at these right beings, and you see, my God, they're full of all these resources. Why don't they just wait and have people tap in? You know? You can charge them as they tap in. You know, you can get your resources back. We all have that right. As ourselves, it comes to you. And it doesn't always come to you in the guises that you think, or that you want, or that you need, you know, all that stuff. It comes to you because it is you. We're not here to be denied. This is not the point. I look out at the world of material, uh, material suffering, it is, it is, it's so cruel, it's so ugly, it's so terrible that you sit in a place like this in the luxury of this place and you think about that and it makes you shudder. Because we live in a world where it's not about you are the resource. It's you have to be something for somebody else that you have to give up yourself to somebody else, that you have to follow some rule, some law, some game, all of those things, instead of living what is you. And if you don't live what is you, how are you ever going to know the material path is life? This is what we are navigating, is this material path. If you don't navigate it as yourself, you're not going to get what's right for you. You'll be one of these fucked up people that has too much money and no soul. Or you'll be one of these poor bastards that has absolutely nothing and has the soul of a prince. It's all messed up. See, everybody thinks that it's out there somewhere. They think everything is out there somewhere. It's here. You see, the wheel is turning. I know the wheel is turning. I can smell all of that. I was given the knowledge so that human beings can live in the age that's coming and they can live in grace and dignity because they can operate on a material plane that is going to be in great, great stress and change. It is not that we are here to wait for somebody else to help us. You look at the world around you. The world is filled with all of those that are crying out for help. 
You know, I am not in the sheep business. I'm in the wolf business. If you cannot make it as yourself, I don't care if you fall by the wayside what to do. This isn't for everyone. It can't be. It's so obvious. And yet the whole thing about this process is that you cannot get to a place of awareness if you're caught up in the mundane of your life. You can't. And money, money is there in everybody. They're all dealing with it. It all comes back to you and what is correct for you.